Rule 1 of GD&T states that when a regular feature of size is at maximum material condition, it cannot extend beyond the boundary or envelope of its perfect form at MMC. Confused? We need to unpack this a little. First, check the comments for the link to the video explaining features of size and MMC if you're unfamiliar with these terms. If you have watched those videos and are familiar with feature of size and MMC, then all we need to explain is the boundary or envelope principle. To explain the envelope or boundary principle, we will use our boss and hole that we've used previously, with size limits for the boss of diameter 10.5 to 10 and diameter 11 to 10.5 for the hole. Actual parts that are manufactured can vary in any way and to show the limits we will draw in red dotted lines to represent MMC and black dotted lines to represent LMC. Everywhere we measure on a boss that is within tolerance it will measure between 10 and 10.5 at all positions. The actual part can vary in any way so long as it remains within its size tolerance. Likewise if a hole is within tolerance it will measure between 10.5 and 11 at all positions. When we assemble these parts together, we can see that it doesn't actually matter how the parts vary, but only what the size limits of the part are. Specifically, we can see that only the MMC limit or red dotted line controls the assembly of the two component. If we coloured the area between our actual part and the MMC boundary for the boss in orange and the hole in yellow, we can see that each part could vary to occupy this space without affecting the fit of the two parts. If we drew lines around this maximum boundary that an actual part can occupy, we see that the shape of this boundary is the same as the nominal or perfect shape shown on our drawing, and that for all shapes of actual parts, this is the same boundary. Additionally, we see that the size of this boundary is the nominal or perfect shape at its MMC size. This means that when we are designing parts to assemble together, we can disregard how parts that are actually manufactured will vary and instead design using a feature's perfect form and its MMC size. This is the boundary or envelope principle because the part cannot extend beyond the boundary of its perfect form and MMC size. Let's now recap our definition. The rule one of GD&T states that when a regular feature of size is at maximum material condition, it cannot extend beyond the boundary or envelope of its perfect form at MMC. We now know the aspects that make up this rule. And best of all, we know the hidden meaning. Rule one provides a shortcut for designers in that to ensure parts fit together, you only need to evaluate the feature's perfect form at its MMC size.